minutes. Does that sound like something that is normal? Um, that does not sound like something that's normal. A home for people with mental illness is causing big concerns for neighbors. The house is on Northwest 78th Street and 10th Avenue in Vancouver. Welcome to Coin6 News at 530, everybody. Our reporter tracked down the person who runs the housing for the county. He's now agreeing to look into this home. Now tonight, Carla Castaño is digging deeper into this story. I checked and there aren't any laws on the books preventing a home like this from opening up. Clark County Sheriff's deputies tell me they've been called out to this house 28 times in the last four months. Most of the time, the mentally ill renters are in crisis and causing a scene, but it's rare a crime has happened. Throwing furniture into the street and violent yelling. I'm told not uncommon outside this house. Even while Coin 6 News was here Wednesday, deputies had to come and take a mentally ill renter to the hospital in crisis after an argument with another renter in the house. So I contacted Southwest Washington Behavioral Health to get answers. They referred me to Andy Silver of the Council for the Homeless. How does a home like this with so many mentally ill folks um, without a guardian happen? Well, I think it's important to realize, first of all, that uh, people with, with mental health issues uh, have all the same rights that everybody else does. But when one person's rights threaten the security of their neighbors, I've got more questions. It seems like something more needs to be done. Yeah, I would, I would, I would hope that um, the sheriff's office would reach out to, uh, to people who provide, if, if, if it's a mental health issue, provide services for that. One of the renters walked into this woman's home and she had to call 911. A neighbor down the street tells me she constantly is finding renters from the house in her yard. Every three months they rotate people and there's a new batch of people in the home. Um, when it was the level three sex offender house a few years ago, I actually kind of felt safer I didn't have the people wandering and roaming. Obviously, there's a whole lot more to follow up on here, and you can bet that we'll stay on top of it. In Vancouver, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News.